Hey everybody, this is Andy Bundy, and last time we kind of, um, what did we do? <laughs> we made it to the end of the Dalek thingy, um, we went back in time, or into an alternate reality, and now we have to, see, we can't do that, because it'll die, or you will die, so we have to, like, Alright, now we have to do that multiple times. This is gonna be fun. Varga plant? Is that what it was called? Yeah. It's like. Let's go in here. Because we need to go upstairs, right? The lift won't work anymore. Let's look for another oh, way down. Good. Probably use that. This is at least this isn't like you know, Half Life where things jump out at you. This is an adventure game. Ooh, there's a Doctor Who thingy over there. There's probably a Varga plant also like right there. No. Collect the tenth Doctor, David Tennant. Uh. Good stuff. Well, now we're here. More. Aha, oh, here we are again. Um. Okay. And then. Just being rather reckless. We might be able to power it with our sonic <laughs> screwdriver. The Supreme Dalek. Who else? Of course. What are we gonna do? We have to release the eye before the Daleks activate it, then the natural timeline will be restored. The Daleks don't crash Earth and Amy Pong gets born. Ah, uh, that's great, but how are we gonna get past that lot? Well, like I wouldn't have a plan. Everything we need is in here. What is that? This is linked to the eye of every Dalek. If I can reverse engineer it, we can interfere with their vision. We just need some parts from the production facility. Oh, I think I know what's coming. Could you pop next door and rustle me up a couple of things while I get started on this gizmo? What do you need? A cup of tea, chalky bickies? Chalky bickies? And a Dalek eye stalk. I recommend looking for salvage rather than a live one. Yeah, you're so funny. Good luck. Let me open this door for you. Oh, and now we're playing as Amy Pond, the wonderful ginger. Okay. I hear a Varga plant, Varga something, blah, blah, blah plant. It didn't see me. Looks like invisibility can have its advantages. I'll take uh. this Daleks everywhere. So yeah, I think it's really cool that they did these games. Um, I don't know if I've said that already once or twice or maybe three times. But I think it's cool because a lot of times people are like, oh, I want to be on an adventure with the Doctor. But um, obviously they can't do that. And this kind of puts it into their uh, ability, I guess. Alright, more hiding and focus and all that fun stuff. Alright, so we're going to do this. Alright, I don't know what's over here. Okay, we got an eye stock. Okay. A beam distribute distributor. Distrib distributor. Okay. Love how these are still going off even though they technically can't see me. Alright. 
go ahead and hide behind these things because they can see you when you're invisible, but they can't see you when you're hiding behind a thing. Oh crud. And I killed Amy Pond. I'm sorry, all of you fanboys out there. <laughs> okay. At least they kept me with the eye stalk. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait one more. So he's gonna go. Alright, and then go. Alright, cool. Okay, let's see. He goes about to there, and then he goes to there, and he turns around, and... Let's see if I can hide. Okay. I need to find a stupid da another Dalek thingy. Is there anything over here? Probably not. I probably went over here for no reason. Ah! Okay, and I'm gonna hide behind this box because. Oh no. Um, Dalek, you stuck. You stuck, bro. And now, everything's back to normal because, I mean, I was standing up, but. Okay. Ah, uh, computer logic. Or video game logic, rather. Alright, got some more over here. Um. Oh, good. Where are these? We have to. F uh, hopefully, we can avoid some Daleks as well. Um. Um. There's the stock. Apparently, I'm not going to be able to use that one. I'll try it again. Nope. That would be too easy. Alright. So we're going to wait till this one goes off. I like Venus flytraps, sort of. With extra things. Maybe I need to go into the store if I can get into the store. Nope, can't do that. Um, 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 um. <laughs> oh, there's something over there. Let's go look at it. Ah, Dalek gun. I hope it still works. That was more doctor sound. It's everything I need. I should get back to the doctor. I love how they hiss. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just weird like that. Okay. Wait for you to go, and then... I'm just kind of being a little reckless now. I'm a little reckless Amy. A little reckless pond. 
which could be bad. Okay. All right. There's one more. I about freaked out because in the other reality, I guess you could say. Um, Doctor, look what I found. Brilliant. You found both of them. Let's get to work. Oh, do I have to assemble it? <sighs> Dragging across. All right, so this game is all about puzzles. Go figure. I don't know if I want to do the other adventure games. I might just start the Eternity Clock or something. Um, we'll go this way. This is the Dalek Eye Stock. And I got so intense, like when I played this, the, when I played this the first time, I said, as I said earlier, I was using a touchpad, and uh, <laughs> it was so bad because I would panic, and then like I'd start getting frantic. And then you'd hear the buzz, and I'd, like, jump. It's like playing Operation. I don't know if anybody else played it. I loved that game. I was terrible at it. And sometimes I would just buzz for the heck of it. But, yeah, I was one of those guys. Well, that was nice. And right there. Yay! So much easier with an actual mouse. This will blind the Daleks. But its range is limited. Unless I can fit it into the cradle of the old emperor, that will take out every Dalek in the chamber. Ooh. Doctor, I feel so strange. I'm sorry, Amy. We're running out of time. We can do this, but it has to be now. Open the eye. It's now or never. There's too many of them, Doctor. They'll exterminate you on sight. Give it to me. I can do this. You have to let me. Ooh. Right, so I need to get up to that Emperor and Dalek. Um, okay, we got some frantic... I guess I could just, you know... Alright. Wow, Invisible does have its perks. Just run, Amy. Run, Amy. Go for my tenth. Go, go for my eleventh, Doctor. Um, I was lucky. Was it? Cutscene. Yeah, as I said, this is very cutscene heavy. This is more of a story so rather than a work, more than a video game. Even though it's kind of both. Destroy those magnetic field generators to free the eye. Do it. I see. Oh, good. I have to get to that, but they're all shooting blindly. Exterminate. Um, but they're all making straight lines, which is to my advantage. Alright. Of course, overload with the Sonic. Because new Doctor Who, the doc the Sonic screwdriver does everything. Oh, there's a timer. Oops. Alright, run, Doctor! Run! I know, we have to get to Amy. Let's jump into the vortex. Huh. Now that's why I call door to door. Steady, steady, take it easy. I'm okay. We did it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> make it to the end as it should be. Ruined. But how did we get here? The eye just spat us back to the point where we entered it. And Earth? Ooh. I love the TARDIS set up. It's only ten o'clock. I can look after myself, you know. 
So what if I am late? It's not the end of the world. No. But didn't you say something about meeting Ringo Starr? And we're finished with episode one of Doctor Who, The Adventure Games. And it ending like an actual episode of Doctor Who. I just got goosebumps because of that. Because <laughs> I'm weird like that. I mean, they have the BBC Natural or National Orchestra. We got Murray Gold's music. He did the music for the video game. And this is going to be much longer. Oh no, even Moffat produced this video game. This is, this is a video game. I completed the adventure. Now try not try one of the other episodes. Alternatively, play again to discover new collectibles. Do I... Can I see... Oh, I can't. I was hoping that you could display collectibles. <coughs> Alright, so hopefully, next time, we'll be starting episode 2, Blood of the Cybermen. Alright, until next time, this is Andy Bundy. Thanks for watching.